got the trailer in place. If you guys couldn't guess, we are doing brakes, drums, and hubs today. Went this morning to uh, Elm City Trailer here in Connecticut and picked up all of these Dexter Never Adjust backing plates for my twin 7,000 pound Dexter axles. We got the hub and drum kit here. It's nice, we got the uh, pre-greased ones with the bearing already in there, so all new hardware should make it pretty easy and straightforward to get these things uh, fixed up. Hopefully the old ones come off pretty well. When I redid this this whole trailer, I'll put a link to that video up above right now. I did a, bought this trailer for 500 bucks and I dropped a tree for a guy. Um, so that pretty good deal, but it did not look anything like this. I, I had it up on its side for about two weeks uh, doing rust correction. Built all new fenders for it, um, redid all the you know electrical and stuff, and and painted the whole thing. So it's come a long way. Uh, so putting on some new brakes for it is definitely worth it. This trailer has been awesome. I actually use it a heck of a lot more than the dump trailer now that I have it. So we're gonna get into it here. This is just about everything I think I should need to get the project done. Now there's only one bad hub on this trailer and it wasn't terrible, but it was starting to get loose. So um, I'm just going ahead and replacing all of them because I don't know the history of this trailer. It, you know, it's a 2016, but um, it was owned by a landscaper buddy of mine. And you know, his guys, I, I don't know how good they were at maintenance, everything like that. So. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to be replacing everything here today. So all this is coming off. I mean, here's our old bearing. You know, there's plenty of grease in there for me, but I don't know. You know, it doesn't look super worn or anything, but we're just going to place everything and be on the safe side. The brakes, though, are definitely shot. Yeah, you can see there is... <laughs> There is nothing left of the brakes. Absolutely nothing. Not even a, not even pads left on this one. Um, so it's a good thing we're, uh, we're, we're doing this. So we'll clean this up. The spindle looks pretty good. Doesn't look super worn or, or dirty, um, which is great. But yeah, all of this is just, just shot. Gonna remove these five nuts for the backing plate. I suppose since I'm replacing it, I can just cut it, pry that out of the way. Okay, now this whole assembly I'm just gonna slide off, except for the wires back here. So we're gonna cut this little clip that holds them, and we'll cut our wires. Okay, here we have our new backing plate. Now these are the Dexter Never Adjust backing plates. These are a little bit more money, but you don't have to adjust them. So see, as the brake pad itself wears down, um, 
it gets pulled on by this wire here and spring and it automatically adjusts the, the brakes for you so you don't have to go down and uh, you know with a screwdriver and adjust them periodically so this is a nice thing to have it's what was originally on the trailer but i you know as you saw they were not working because of how rusty they were Make sure you pull the wires out of the way that goes on like that now it comes with all new hardware. Now something to note, they do have a left and a right side. So you can see this says right hand and you always want the smaller pad to be towards the front and the larger one to be towards the back. So they, Dexter makes it pretty easy by labeling them, but um, just in case. Now these don't have to be super, super tight. They, ha they have a crush nut on them. So you just wanna make sure that that gets crushed down. And like anything, you want to do opposite to tighten. Okay, there we go. Backing plate is on. Now I'm going to make my electrical connections on the back side. So just something to note, there's two wires that come out from the trailer side and two wires that come out from the backing plate. It does not matter which wire you connect to which. Uh, they, it will function either way. So now we're ready to take out the hub. We got all the hardware here, new dust cap, new lug nuts, retainer clip, castle nut, the whole nine yards. So uh, why it pays to, you know, buy a high quality kit. Now, uh, oh, bearing fell out of the bag here so you can see just how dirty everything is in there we don't you know we don't necessarily want to be putting that into a brand new brake system so i'm gonna plug up the hole here some paper towel i'm gonna spray this down with some brake clean and just kind of clean it all up Be surprised how much comes out they also typically put like some sort of oil or something in here to keep it from rusting up too bad I mean look at all that we're not gonna get every last little bit but get what we can all right so now before we go ahead and install our new hub and drum just gonna throw some grease. And slide it on there, like so. We'll take our bearing and stick that in there. Now we'll take our washer Put that in there and our nut now when tightening this nut it's important to get it to the right tightness so i'm going to be tightening tightening the nut while rotating the hub 
backwards and you tighten it down till tight and then back it off about one full turn. Then we're gonna tighten it down again till snug and then just back it off about a quarter turn. Then we can take our retaining clip and put that in there like that. And we have a nice brand new hub. Take our dust cap. So now that we have the hub mostly back assembled, can take our dust cap and put it on like so. Then I like to take a block and just take the grease gun, give it a couple pumps just to replace anything we wiped out. Put on our rubber cap. So as you can see, they spin pretty freely, but not crazy. Um, and that's just what you want. So now all we gotta do is put on the wheel. Just like that, one new hub, one new drum, and one new backing plate. So that should last us for quite a while, seeing as this trailer doesn't get used daily, but more as a weekend warrior for my tree and, and side jobs. Um, so basically just repeat that same process for the other three wheels and uh, you'll be good to go in no time. This second one actually it wasn't quite as bad as the first. There is actually some brake pad left here, albeit it's cracked and pretty, you know, glazed over. Um, but there is brake pad left on the front and back. So at least that's a good thing. Hub two on, looking good. So this is the third one, pads, you know, kind of there, but pretty glazed over and clearly the seal had been blown out because there's just grease all in here. Um, the magnets all covered in grease. So there's no way, you know, this was no way this was working at all. Third one done. This is the fourth and final one. As you can see, there's some pad left in the front, but as like all the others, it's all glazed over. Nothing left in the back. A lot of wear on the uh, on the drum here, like really bad. So, glad we're doing this. Fourth one. This one, out of, of course, you know, gave me a little bit of trouble. I went to slide the hub and the drum on, and the bearing went on a little cockeye. So when I went to pull it off, the seal got stuck on the spindle. Um, had to back it all off, press it back in, and then it went on fine. Um, so we're good. Put on the last tire and wheel, and we'll be all set. I'd like to give a big shout out to Elm City Trailer in Woodbridge, Connecticut for hooking me up with the parts. Granted, I did pay for them, but they had them in stock and picked them up just a few hours after contacting. So awesome service over there. All right, the other day I was hooking up and the breakaway cable was, uh, was torn here. So got a new, really nice one. Um, so... I guess we just gotta cut this. Snip that. Yeah, 
and this one should be a lot nicer because it's stretchy so it won't uh you know sag or, or anything like that so I, I think we're good to go now Jake's got all four hubs, brakes, and wheels backed on, locked and loaded, ready to go. Uh, it is still up on the jack stands and the block. He moved the tractor out of the way right now so we can back the pickup truck to it and just plug in the trailer wiring so that he can hit, in the, ga hit the gain on the controller inside the truck and uh, see if the brakes do in fact actually work still off the ground so we can spin the wheels freely and when he hits the gain it should apply the brakes and it should stop the tire from spinning so fingers crossed it all works the way it's supposed to all right so the trailer lights are connected Jake is getting ready to give him a try. Go ahead. Ho. Oh. You hear him functioning. This one's locked up. Let it go. Oh, we're hung up on the gravel. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. Woo! <laughs> All right. That is a good sign. The one last thing I want to check is the breakaway. Because I don't know if you guys if you have been watching the channel for a while and you saw the video when I redid this, the breakaway was totally ripped off on here. Uh, the box was barely hanging on. So I redid all the wiring and everything, got a new battery for it, got a new breakaway switch, but now I want to make sure that the breakaway switch actually works uh, because the brakes like didn't really work before, so it was kind of hard to tell. So let's do the same thing. But yep. uh, so just give that. I think yeah, if you pull that out, a yank. Yeah. I think if you pull that out, all the wheels all the wheels should, wheel lock should be locked. All right. So let's yank this out. Now let's see. Yep, locked up. Locked up. Locked up. Locked up. Now, the real question is, if I put it back in, will they free up? Sound, I sounded I like it. it. I doubt they heard it. Oh, yeah, baby. Ah, it's just stuck on a rock. <laughs> All right. Woo. Disconnect this so we don't drive away with it. Awesome. Well, I'm going to call that a win. Um, so, yeah, it all works. We got brakes now, so no more uh, runaway trailers when we have the tractor or logs or IBC toast, whatever, on here. Um, I'd say now, finally, the trailer is done. You know, the only thing I know Chris wants me to fix is this wonky jack. Um, it, it's, it's, it's not straight at all. No. It, uh, far, far from it. It could use some bushings, but yeah, it works. It works. Yeah, so you know, for now that'll be it. I think uh, you deserve a beer because you had some successes, which they'll probably see in a video, right? Yep. Yep. Out in the woodyard working on Gorgonzola, this was a success. So uh, we need a celebratory course. Always. We're gonna have a, gonna have a banquet to celebrate <laughs> our 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 victory. Job well done, buddy. Job well done. Cheers. good stuff if anybody from uh adolf cores is watching sponsorship we're, we're plugging you in every video but anyway guys that's gonna wrap up this video uh hope you enjoyed i know it's a little bit different um i'm trying to branch out and do more stuff like this 
So uh, if you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Questions, comments, feedback, throw it down in that comment section. But for now, I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. See you here next time. Chris wanted to say I'm. Say it. I'm Chris. This is Dude Ranch <laughs> DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time. <laughs> I wonder how creepy that is. That's pretty close to my face. I'm Chris. <laughs>